What's happening all? It is the 18th of July, uh, Tuesday. <laughs> uh, it's so maddening, I don't even know where I'm at half the time. Uh, it's amazing how often I'm traveling that I even wake up in my own bed at home and have to wonder where I am, because it's necessary to be on the road constantly to keep driving the message about what's going on in the market and how things are, and, and that we're still here. We're still getting things done. Now that we, we focus on real estate investing, right, we're, we're focusing on uh on people's owner occupied houses, helping them get financing done at that, whether you want a second home, whether you're looking to drive by multiple properties with one big loan, a blanket loan for uh, two and a half million dollar blocks, you really need a construction loan, a rehab loan. We're doing all of that. We are building quite the vast profile of products. But we also have, we're driven for, for a message. We're driven to do some other things and make sure that people are aware of what else is out there. And I'm going to rant just a tad here today about something. You know, we've talked about the sound of freedom. Here's another thing you've got to check out. Very, very similar to the sound of freedom. It's called Light in the Darkness. Uh, you, you guys, my team, you as the, the clients I work with, the people who refer me business had a direct involvement in this getting done. Just so you know, you had direct involvement in this particular thing getting completed and this getting released. So I can't get into the depth of the involvement of this, but just know you're involved. If you were working with us, you were involved in this. Thank you for that. You need to go check this out. It's on PragerU's uh, website um, and look for Light in the Darkness. Just look up PragerU.com and then search for Light in the Darkness or slash series slash Light in the Darkness. We'll even put the link up here. Um, it's a necessity to get an understanding of what's going on out there. We are being consumed, period. You've got your social bullshit. You got your stuff that just has you just focused in on just content, streaming crap into your face. You've got programming on TV that's being sent to you. Entertainment, right? We're, be, we're, we're being entertained constantly, which I, I get it. Believe me, I love being entertained. I love just put things out going like crazy all the time. I like to spend an hour here and there and just not let my mind be so involved in stuff. But because of all this stuff, especially the Instagram is Twitter and the Facebook and all this crap. They're using that to shoot shit in your head. Use it back. Take the stuff we're just showing you. Light in the darkness. Sound of freedom. Push it out there to everybody. If people say, hey, I don't, I don't believe this stuff. Or this is bull crap. Fine. That's okay. Don't get worried about what they think. Who gives a shit what they think, right? What I find interesting is when you have, you know, Jim Caviezel, you've got uh, Tim Ballard, you've got these guys out there talking about this issue, right? Especially guys who did the operations. I've seen I, guys. I'm going to tell you what I what I what I've seen. But when they tell you something, if somebody makes a mistake in the comment, right? You're on a live conversation. They say something that could be fact checked, and they're off in their estimation, or they often something that that they said that wasn't completely exact, right? Because they're I've had that. They've come to me for stuff that's just not exactly right, or they're looking for the exact number. Or something, and then they want to claim faults on everything else. Bullshit. What's funny is how they're going to attack somebody and really, really look at the details. But when you get into the, the depth of what's going on and how much crap is happening in the world right now, how it's just accepted. You know, people know st stupid amounts of people die around the Clintons, but like, okay. Um, it's interesting how that is. Interesting how this quit that shit. If you're one of those people like to dig into the little tiny details, well, they messed this up. And they want to just focus on that one little thing and poke at that one little mistake. Man, you got a problem. You need to stop that shit and look at the total message and understand what's going on here. You're being consumed, being pushed. We're being pushed into a subscription-based society. We're getting into a subscription-based economy. If you are not getting investment real estate right now to be part of that subscription programming in the sense that we can't stop that. That's what's happening. But if you own investment real estate, the people that are going to be having to rent could be from you. You could be one of those ones that are continued to, to cover for yourself. I'm telling you, get on board now before it gets too damn late. Get this going so you have these assets that there may not be available to you in the near future. So let's go and see what's going on in the market so you can see what's happening with interest rates. Not that it matters. I've told you a hundred times, a thousand times, interest rates don't freaking matter, but we do need to at least share with you where things are heading so you get an idea and you know what to expect. And to know it doesn't matter what it does, you still need to move forward. So here's what we have happening today. It is continuing to follow that 200-day moving average downward, right? We're continuing to move down. We see these really heavy down times, and it comes back up a little bit, gets a little bit better, but it's still heading downward. Therefore, interest rates are still trending upwards. They'll continue to trend upwards, and we're going to see that for the foreseeable future. Um, I 
per firmly believe that we're going to see the the uh, interest rates are going to mirror like what we were looking at back in 2000 to 2008 is what I'm thinking. So if we look here, I'm showing you the last the history of all these interest rates all the way back to 2000 uh, 1971. Sorry, averaging 7.74% from 1971 till the end of uh, last month. And then uh, from 1971 to 2009, the average interest rate was 9.12% for the average homeowner, not the investor. Homeowner, right? So 7.74 for the average homeowner. Right now, bank rate is still claiming it's over 7% for the average homeowner, right? We're not at that 7%. We're higher than as investors. You're going to pay points to stay where you're at. And there's a whole other reason for that. I'm going to talk to you about the points on Friday. So tune in on Friday to talk about why those points are there, why I believe the points are there. Now, Average interest rate from 2000 to 2008, according to Freddie Mac, for people buying houses to live in, four point, excuse me, 6.48%, 6.48%. That's basically 6.5%. If that's where we're going to be and we're above that now, that's the, I, I don't know that we're going to get much better than 6.48%. And I don't see us even getting there anytime soon. So just know that where we are right now, the interest rates we presently have available to real estate investors Best we're going to see for the foreseeable future. So get used to it, lock in, move forward. Quit being the type of person that calls every freaking day to decide whether or not you're going to get involved based upon what rate is published that day. Get your application in if you're serious, start moving forward, then do your damn calls, and then we can lock it. If you don't have an application in place, we can't lock you. Then you got to wait. Then we got the app built. Then we got the credit pool. Then we got to get through the prequal process. Then we get ready to do the lock, and you've lost the rate because you've been wasting time. Quit jerking off and let's move forward. When you're ready to go, just jump in. AaronChapman.com is where you got to go. You scroll down, you can see the donate button. Let's start doing a dent in this damn human trafficking shit and all the other stuff that's going on. Make some noise. Make these bastards who are out there doing this crap worry about what's going on and that people know too much. Appreciate you guys. We'll talk to you on Friday about why interest rates have points.